वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर सीक्वेंसेज एंड सीरीज हेयर क्वेश्चन इज ए पी क्यू आर आर इन जी पी एंड द इक्वेशन पी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस क्यू एक्स प्लस आर इज इकल टू जीरो एंड डी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू ई एक्स प्लस एफ इज इकल टू जीरो हैव अ कॉमन रूट देन शो दैट डी बाई पी ई बाई क्यू एंड एफ बाई आर आर इन ए पी Okay, so let us start the solution here. First of all, this is given that P Q R R in G P. Given P Q R R in G P. It means Q is geometric mean. So we can write here. Therefore, Q square is equal to P into R. geometric mean is equal to product of first and last if three numbers are or three terms are in gp correct and you can get this result by dividing q by p and r by q means second term by first term and is equal to third term by second term and by cross multiplication you will get this result qr is equal to pr okay so since here q by p is equal to r by q this is equal to common ratio isn't it so by cross multiplication you will get q e square is equal to pr again we have two equations with a common root equations are px square Plus q x plus r is equal to zero, and d x square plus two e x plus f is equal to zero. Suppose this is relation number two, this is relation number three. And by relation number two, if you try to solve it, this is in the form of quadratic equation. Then x is equal to minus q. Use the discriminant formula minus q. Plus minus root over. This is if quadratic equation is a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. Then you use minus b plus minus root over b square means q square minus four a c minus means minus four p r divided by two a means two p. Correct. Here this is two q x. so please make a correction here 2qx so this is 4q square okay and 4 will be common here so this is minus b so here also we will write minus 2q now correct minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac correct and 4 will be common from this square root sign So square root of four is two, so we will get here minus q plus minus two root over q square minus p r upon two p. So two will be cancelled out from numerator and denominator, and in place of q r you can in place of q square you can write p r. Okay, so this is equal to minus q two will be cancelled out. Plus minus root over q square is p r minus p r is here divided by p and this is equal to p r minus p r is zero so finally we are getting minus q is equal to minus q by p so this is equal to minus q by p so here we are getting x is equal to minus q by p x is equal to minus q by p and since roots of these two equations are common so this value of x will satisfy this equation also third equation also therefore by equation number 3 we uh, put value of x is equal to minus q by p so here dx square means d into minus q by p whole square plus 2ex so 2 into e and x is 
minus q by p and uh, plus f plus f this is equal to 0 or we are getting here d into q square by p square plus sorry there will be minus minus sign is here so minus 2 e q by p minus 2 e q by p plus f this is equal to 0. Now look at this situation here we have to prove that this is a p. So, we will try to bring this format uh, like d by p e by q a by r here. So, let us divide this equation throughout by q square so that this q square will be cancelled out and here d by p so multiplying by p. Okay? So, dividing by q square dividing by q square and multiplying with p we get how much we will get q square will be divided so q square will be cancelled out and multiplying with p so you are getting here d by p minus 2 e by p into q plus f into q by p this is equal to 0. Here we are dividing by q square and uh, multiplying with p. So, this p will not be here this will be cancel out. So, we are getting this much dividing by q square dividing by q square. So, here f by q square and this is p is equal to 0 and in place of q square you can write p r or we are getting here d by p minus 2 e by q plus f into p upon q square is p r by relation number 1. So, here p will be cancel out this is equal to 0 or we will keep minus 2 e by q in one side and d by p and f by r another side. So, we will get 2 times of e by q is equal to d by p plus f by r. So, what does it show? It shows that e by q is arithmetic mean between d by p and f by r. Since you know that if a, b, c are in a p then you know to b is equal to a plus c is not it. So, twice of middle term is equal to first term plus third term. So, a twice of middle term is first term plus third term. What does it show? It shows that therefore, d by p, d by p, e by q and f by r these are in a p. So, it has been proved here we got the result. So, simple question hmm? you can understand you can do this question very easily. So, hope you have understood the solution and we will see some more problems in other videos too.